But here's the critical question. What are they getting for that money? What's the revenue? Because spending $300 billion is only justified if you're making that back plus profit, and the revenue numbers don't support the spending. Let's break it down company by company. OpenAI, the company that started this with ChatGPT, has revenue of approximately $3.5 billion annually as of late 2024. That's up from $1 billion in 2023. But OpenAI is not profitable. They're losing money. Reports suggest they're burning through over $5 billion annually on compute costs alone, paying Microsoft and others for cloud infrastructure. So they have $3.5 billion in revenue and over $5 billion in costs. That's a $2 billion loss, and their valuation is $150 billion. They're valued at 43 times revenue for a company losing billions. Now, let's add it up. The Big Five have spent over $300 billion on AI in two years. The revenue from AI products across all of them is maybe 60 to $80 billion annually. And much of that is from integrating AI into existing products like search, ads, and cloud services. The new standalone AI products like ChatGPT, Copilot subscriptions, and AI assistants contribute maybe 10 to 15 billion. So we have 300 billion in spending generating maybe 10 to 15 billion in new revenue annually. That's a 20 to one spending to revenue ratio. You'd need 20 years of that revenue just to break even. And in technology, 20 years is multiple lifetimes. The entire landscape will change three times over. But it gets worse, because those revenue numbers assume sustained growth. What if the growth stops? What if AI revenue peaks in 2025 or 2026? Then the spending never pays off, and there are signs this might happen.